Okay, welcome to another how-to video. This one is uh, how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble an Okuma Stratus 6 or VI SVI 40 spinning reel. Now, I believe this the, the process will hold true just like it would with a you know SVI 30, 50, and 60. So all all the reels in this series. And materials you'll need are screwdriver or tools, screwdriver, smaller screwdriver, smaller, another small screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and uh, like a lubricant. Uh, I use a silicone lubricant. But, uh, all right, let's get started. First, take off the uh, that top drag knob. It's very easy to put that aside. Then take off the spool. And next, you'll see, and I, I believe. For the most part, this will hold true for all spinning reels. Some will have, you know, small, you know, little micro differences and whatnot, but they all have pretty much the same, um, same features and same washers and whatnot for them all. But again, th this is specific to this Okuma series or Okuma brand Stratus VI or six uh, SVI 40 reel. Um, so now you'll see that you'll have some washers. Now with these Okuma reels, you'll have two black washers. You'll have two clear washers. And you'll have one uh, wash, metal washer, more like a gear, because that's what turns the, uh, turns the spool. So this will be like a gear, metal gear washer. And then you're gonna have, holding this, holding the bale on, this housing, you'll have a brass nut and a screw. This screw is simply there to prevent this nut from loosening on its own. And so, uh, and completely to the opposite of what you're used to doing where you, you turn to the right to tighten and turn left to loosen. With a spinning reel, you're actually going to turn to the left to tighten and to the right to loosen. So first step, we'll go ahead and get this screw out of here. Okay, get that out and put it aside. Ne next, ne got to get that nut off. So you, you can use a, a deep socket, a deep socket wrench to get that out. I simply just use a pair of pliers. And again, just turn, you know, grip that and turn to the right a little bit for it to get loosened up. And then I just take my fingers. Excellent, put that aside. And then the housing or the bale part simply comes off. Now you'll have three screws and a little metal plate. So go ahead and take those metal screws off. Make sure to place those some aside so they're in their own little section so you don't get those confused or mix them up with other screws for other parts of the reel. Perfect there. Now you don't need to worry about taking this little metal washer off this top. You just leave it on comes right off, nothing in there, or nothing in there, so you can, again, put this aside. Now you'll see right here, there's two washers, one, two metal washers. This is what allow the bale to spin freely on this ball bearing right here. So we'll get those off, put those aside. Now we need to get this bearing and this uh, little this plastic section off. So what I do to start it is you have this anti-release or anti-reverse lever. I leave this to the right and I simply take my, my reel handle and simply go backwards just a little bit. You could see it lift this ball bearing up a little bit. So go backwards and you could see it lift it. Great. Don't go too high because you don't want 
this blue piece and this spring to shoot off or come off as well. So again, just go just a little bit, just enough to s separate it. And then you could take a small screwdriver and simply push that up and out. Again, you, you just want to take one piece off at a time. Take that ball bearing, put that aside a little bit. Okay. Now, before you do anything else, I want to point out the, one of the most critical parts of this reel is this little spring here. I'll try to get it in focus for you. I don't want to focus, but there's a little spring here that works this lever. So you'll see if you go to the left, it'll move this knob and this piece, this blue plastic to the left and engage the spring. This allows the reel to go forward and in reverse freely. When this lever is to the right, this locks the, re the um, handle in place and it can only go forward and can't go in reverse. So what we do here, very carefully, probably best to use tweezers, but I just use some needle nose pliers. not focusing sorry about that but you take this spring you take it out of that little blue plastic piece and just let that be free now you can take this metal bronze cylinder and kind of pull up a little bit and then grab the blue piece and it'll slide out, should slide out freely. Depending on how dirty or gunked up the reel is, it may not come out freely. You may need to pull it out a little bit. It may take a little force to pull it out, but you get the idea. Set that aside. Last but not least for this part is this gear or this cylinder, bronze cylinder here. And it's actually three pieces. So you have this... Uh, that silver or steel piece there. Then you have a little tiny thin metal washer. Then you have the bronze gear itself. Cool. Now if you want to actually get into the gears of the handle on the reel itself, you could simply just take this knob and this does unscrew to the left. So you'll unscrew that. Okay, and you take that handle out. Okay, set that aside. Now we can work on the, the gears and cleaning and taking out this housing. So now I take a small screwdriver and take this screw off. Again, make sure that screws by itself so you don't get it mixed up with other screws. Take that white piece off, and now you'll see there are four screws holding this section together. You got one there, one there, one there, and one there. These three are all same in length, at least for this reel. So these are longer, and that's a short one. So I'm going to take all three of these, or all four of these screws out. I'll set that one there. We'll go another long one. Set that one aside next to it. And I'll go to this last long one. Put that one aside. And now last. So now you see you got your three long ones and your one short one. Okay, so done there. Now you'll take a small screwdriver and kind of pry this open a little bit. 
Okay, now I'll take that section, put it aside, and here's the inner workings of the reel. So we'll go ahead and take this out, simply just pull it straight up, wait a little bit, it'll come out. Okay, there's that. We'll set that aside right here. And that's this, what I just call it a rod. I don't really know what the name of it is, but you can simply take that out. There you go, set that aside. And again, depending on how, how gunked up your reel is, you can use a, a, a degreaser, or again, a silicone spray or whatever, but go through here and clean out all the nasty black gunk that you got going on. If there isn't any, great. You've done a great job. But I, you know, use use this in the surf, so there's always sand. Somehow, some way, sand and whatnot always gets in here. So I clean all that out. Okay. Awesome. Now, let's assume that you've cleaned everything up. As you see in here, we'll, now we'll start the process of putting everything back together. So you can see there's a, there's a hole right here. A hole right there. That's where this rod goes back in. Okay. Secondly, there's a slot right here. And you can see the knob on that wheel, that gear, right down here. See that right there? This is going to fit right on to that, into that slot. Okay, now before I show you that, because it's easier if I show you it before I put the rod in, there's a little opening or a little like diamond. Right here, see that? Okay, so when you go to match this gear and put this gear back in, there's an orange dot or an orange marking, or usually there's a marking of some sort. I don't know if you could see it, but there's an orange right here. Orange spot right here. And you match that with this little diamond or this little opening right here. So I'll put this back in. Okay. Now I take this gear after I've cleaned it up with the silicone spray or whatever cleaner you're going to use. I take the orange right here and match it up with that little diamond right there. Just slide it right in. And boom, there you have it. Honestly, it's as easy as that. So now it's perfectly matched up. Now, after cleaning it, you'll take this piece, the, the uh, rest of the housing, cover, whatever, and put that back on. And then you'll take your long screws or whatever order you want to go in and make sure to put them into the right spots and screw that back together. I don't screw the I don't screw the screws down tight until I've had all of the or I have them all at least partially into the holes. That way I know that there's no binding. And I'm not going to strip any of the plastic as I screw these screws in. Now that I have them all in, partially, I will go ahead and screw all these in tightly. Perfect. Now we're done with that. Now it's time to put the rest of it back together. After, again, you've cleaned all this. So... Go backwards from how we ended or how we started. So we'll take this cylinder or this brass, yeah, this brass gear after we've cleaned it all off. Then you take the little, oops, get back here. You take this really thin metal washer. I can pick it up, it's so thin sometimes. Okay, slide it back on over the threads and it'll hit this, hit the gear right there. Take your metal cylinder, slide that back on. Doesn't matter the direction on this, it could go this way, could be that way, doesn't matter. Now I'll take that, fit that, slide that right down into that gear. 
Okay, you're all set there. Now it's time to put this this one on with the blue this blue plastic. And you'll notice that again, take the you'll take the silicone sprayer, lubricant, whatever you're gonna use, give it a little spray. Sorry, get back into frame. Give it a little spray. Then work that a little bit. You'll notice that this only goes forward or one way. It does not go back. I give it a little bit of wipe. I don't leave all the all the spray on it. Okay. Now again, carefully with this because you have the spring to worry about. You'll take this again. This piece goes over this little cylinder or this little piece of plastic sticking out of there right there. You can see it with the brass in the background. This little nub right here. You want this piece to go over it. And what you also notice, actually before I do it, sorry, missed one little piece, one important piece. Inside here, there are notches. So you got one notch here, one notch there, one in the back here, and one in the front left over, over here. Those match up with this bearing. So you got the four notches there. So you need to just match those up with the reel. And if you do it right, easy and slides right in. No problem there. I will say the hardest part of this entire process is getting this spring back into this little hole. So you could see the little hole is right, right there. So we have to take again, either the pliers or um, tweezers and get that spring into that hole. Once you get that completed, that's literally the hardest part of this whole process. It's when you got to be the most careful. Because if that spring breaks, your reel won't, you know, it won't lock. You can't, it'll always go in forward reverse. It, it will not, um, it will not stop. Okay. Next. It's time to put on this bearing. And it, you lube it again with the silicone spray or whatever you're gonna use. This one goes you know, left and right. Make sure that's super smooth. Then we'll wipe that down a little bit. Okay. Now there's two sides. I don't know if you remembered when uh, we're paying close enough attention at first, but this has two sides. You have this top, with a little plastic nub right there and three holes. And you have the bottom that just has base, you know, pretty much openings everywhere with this little notch. This notch at the top will fit perfectly in be well, if it'll slide and this little plastic piece that you slid the blue on will fit directly in the middle of this notch. And you'll feel it snap in when you know it's all the way down. So if you listen carefully, gotta get straight and boom, snapped right in. That's the, again, the hardest part of the whole process, which again, it's not that hard. It's just the most uh, important. So this one, again, slide that back on top. And you'll see that plastic nub that sticks out that goes into the bottom of this piece right here. That locks in, nowhere for it to go, so you know you're in the right spot. Then you take your three screws, put those back in. Again, I don't screw down all the way at first. I get all my screws at least halfway in, if not a little more, before tightening all the way. Now we'll tighten all the way. Okay, we're good there. Next, those two, those two metal thin washers you took off, put those back on. Okay, make sure those slide down. Perfect there. 
Now we'll go ahead and take our bale housing, or whatever it's called. Fit that on snug. Okay. I reach from the bottom, take my fingers and pull it all the way down. That way I know it's sitting down there flush against those washers. Then I take the brass nut, and again, to tighten, you're going to go to the left. Make sure you're not, you're on completely, you're not going to strip it. Okay. Snug down with your fingers. Then just tighten it down until you have this flat part of a nut up against or parallel with that hole. Then you take this small screw, small flat screw, screw that into place. We're almost done. Okay, that's tight. Nuts tight. Now go ahead and put the gear, the metal metal washer gear on. Whatever order you took the washers off, or the yeah, these plastic washers off from for the first time, or whatever time, go ahead and just repeat that process backwards and put everything else back on. Oh, and with these washers, they do have a certain shape. So you'll see that this is a, it's flat on the sides and round on top, which will match and align with this rod right here. So you could put it on however you want and then twist it until it fits and goes down. Very easy, very intuitive. Okay, now we'll go ahead and slide that second one on. And at this point, now I put on the real handle and okay, put that in nice and snug now be careful when you're putting this this nut in that you don't strip the the uh, the handle so I take it I push it all the way as far as I can and then just turn slow and if you have any resistance at all and it's really tight take it back out redo it because once you strip that it's never gonna go back in smooth so push it in turn slow until it's going to make sure it's smooth and screwing all the way in and you'll be good and I just tighten that as tight as I can by hand we're good there next spool and if you want to take apart the spool or the washers in there you can you simply take a screwdriver pop this little metal spring out there's going to be I believe three three metal washers and two wool or uh, greased wool washers in there. Um, there might there might be four steel ones and three wools, but I believe it's three and two. So you put that back in there. Put your drag knob. Screw that back on. And there you have it. Completely disassembled, cleaned, reassembled, and turning like butter. Absolutely beautiful here. Okuma Stratus VI SVI 40 reel. Before you're done, and I just spin it just to make sure it's smooth, because if it's not, I've got to retake it apart, figure out where the rough spot is. But since that's working smooth, I can now go ahead and put this bottom piece back on. Alright, now we're completely done. Like new. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you uh, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it, and now just go go fishing, go get some. You